these guys. Okay. Okay, welcome back everybody, and I will refocus the camera in a minute. Welcome back to Coffee Not in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee, and we're on to another segment. And uh, I was going to work on a portrait. I do have permission from the uh, person that commissioned me to do, uh, he and his wife, um, that I do have permission to, to work on them on camera. But I don't want to, I'm. this is part two today, I don't want to rush it, so I might just work on it a little bit while I'm watching Janet later. And, uh, or maybe I'll make another segment when I have more time because I'd like to, you know, do a full on three hours or something like that when I do a portrait. So in the meantime, since I can't work, well, since I'm not going to work on my portrait commission right now, I thought it would be a good time since in, into October now to do a page out of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween book. Uh, Tassie sent this. And uh, I, I looked to see if she was here, but I didn't see her. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in one, guys. And let's go ahead and refocus my camera with the sherry pink card. It's nice and pink and grabs the light. So I think we might try a page in here. Yes, I got commission permission. That's right. <laughs> but since I'm, I don't have a lot of time, uh, today because I wanted to finish up if y'all missed uh, earlier today we finished up part two of the collage owl that we did on Monday part one and so I finished that up today and we finished that up as a part two and so I think maybe we'll do this what do y'all think I haven't worked in this at all um, I haven't worked in the in in the new Halloween book at all uh, let me go ahead and show you real quick what we have done. And I have taken them out and put them in my binder. Uh, let's see if I can find the book here. Hang on, guys. So I have done quite a few pages in her first book. Okay, I've done quite a few pages out of here. And what I do, if they're an eight and a half by eleven page, like you know, these are well, maybe eight, nine by yeah, eight and a half by eleven, thereabouts. I'm, I put them in a binder. So I have a binder here of my color book pages that um, and I have them broke out by the different books. Like here's the Doodlers Anonymous ones like this. I'm not going to stop and show you every one because I've already done that. But I'm just going to do a flip till I get to the Jasmine ones. <laughs> so these are some of the pages that I've done. And I've just divided them up with dividers. Uh, the different books that I've colored in. Okay, so let's get over here to Jasmine. All right, so here's my Jasmine ones that I've done <clears throat> out of the first book. So you can see here these, and they're in sleeves, so there's going to be a bit of a glare, but you can still see them. There's they're pretty much, except for this one. I think there is a video on all of them except maybe this one. All the rest should have a video to them. Okay. So, yeah. That, I think, is what we're going to do in this book today. So, let's get the light there. <clears throat> Let me set this aside. I'll keep out an example for you. Let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. I have not picked a page or anything yet. So, we'll see how far we get in an hour and a half or so. I'm trying to keep the videos under two hours. An hour and a half bet is best, but... Yeah, so if you have any questions, put them in caps if you're watching this recording on YouTube. It's a live show with a live audience with mostly a live people. Jean's tweeting pics from the train. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, and it has a nice cover on it like this. It's got the, uh, cr you know, craft paper cover. You can paint anything on it you want. And again... Um, I haven't worked in a Jasmine page for quite a while. I don't know, have one picked. I'm just going to kind of flip and decide what I want to do. This one's kind of good. I love the pumpkin, the Halloween look. 
and I and I know that th these are from based off of her acrylic paintings. I do not go look at her paintings. I don't want to try to match them or even be influenced by her originals. So I don't go look them up. I mean, I've come across different ones, of course, throughout the you know time that I've known of her. I've come across and and she's on. I follow her on Facebook and all that. But when I go to color a page, I don't go look up her paintings to see how she colored it because I don't want to be influenced by how she did it. I want to, you know, do it myself how, um, you know, how I want to do it. So, yeah, I'm just going to flip through till something really sparks me here. She has all kinds of, you know, bat you know, bat girls and witches, you know, Halloween. It's all Halloween stuff. A lot of skulls. There's a gypsy girl. And the on the back it says, is that the right one? No, that goes this one. Yeah. Um I try to write the the pay on the net on my uh, when I take them out of the book and put them in my binder, I make notes on the backs of them so I know what book and what uh, uh, the name of her girl is called. So I'm just going to flip through here. There's a couple of uh, masks there. Another pumpkin. I like the pumpkin. So right now, so I'm kind of leaning toward a pumpkin just because I'm thinking about doing uh, I do want to do a, a collage pumpkin again this year. Last year I did a collage Star Trek pumpkin. I don't know if I did a video on it, though. I'm thinking I might have, but I don't remember. And I did masks. I'll show you those again real quick. I did masks like these. They're just plastic masks that I did, just like I do my collage and art card uh, kind of work so you can kind of see see the little people walking up there these are these two are half masks here and then here's a full mask here so I did a pumpkin in the same type of thing but I did a uh, uh, Star Wars that's a Star Trek I meant Star Wars a pumpkin last year so I want to do I want to do another pumpkin in the my collage technique. So I'm kind of, you know, looking at pumpkins thinking, oh, I want to do some pumpkins. So, and I probably will do that maybe, I don't know, maybe about the third. I did a video on the pumpkin. Thanks, Suzanne. Okay, so I'm liking this one. Where'd it go now? We... This one so far, because it actually, you know, just a couple of characters here. And let's see. So I might go with the pumpkin. Then there's a little postcard one you can color too. Thanks, Lindsay. You like the masks? Yeah. So I wanted to try to do at least a couple of these during October because it's uh, for, you know, I told y'all I would. <laughs> So I think I might just stick with that. There's a little, she's got her little vampire teeth. Just flipping real quick, guys, and seeing which one. Like I said, I'm liking the pumpkin. Um, so I might do that. Some more little postcards. Whoops. And again, this is from Tassie. Okay, I think I'm going to go with her. Pumpkin King's Night Out. And I'll read you her write-up. It does have, it is from a canvas painting she did. And I will zoom in and adjust the camera here in a minute. This piece sums up the fun and mystery of walking around on, at night on Halloween. This jack-o'-lantern headed fellow and his vampy winged girlfriend are enjoying an evening, evening stroll under a full moon with bats and distant lightning. 
I kind of like to think that they aren't even dressed in costume. This is just how they look naturally. And Halloween's the only night that they can walk the streets, anonym anonymously blending in with trick-or-treaters. So. <laughs> okay, so I think, I, well, that looks pretty good right there. Let me just get my little card, though, to see if that will help keep us focused. And it got a little dark again because it's white paper. The white paper flashes it out. Hang on, guys. Let's see if I can adjust. I'll just have to keep adjusting as we go. Hopefully, it won't be too bad. Does that look okay? I think that looks okay. Uh, somebody said I'd like to see something, but I'm sorry. It, fl it, went, off the s it went off the scroll. When I was reading this, it went off. So somebody said, I want to see, and that was all I saw. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, hey, Ian. Anybody else popping in? Do I see Ian? Off kilter, Ian. All right. So I'm going to start with paint, like I usually do. And uh, let me get a couple of little trays here. And move all this stuff out of the way. I want to see you color a wolf fur. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe one of these days. Um, I'm trying to think if I have a wolf drawn somewhere or painted. If you all have any questions, guys, put them in caps. Bye, Scooby. <laughs> Julie says, I, I know a few people that only blend in on Halloween. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I am going to get out some jack o' lantern orange because I'm going to do washes and then I'll go back in there. <laughs> oh, there is one in the book? Okay, well then maybe we'll get to that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, and then of course I'm going to want some black. All my other paint that I used earlier has dried up since uh, that, that two hours. So I'm going to put a little bit of black. What else? because mm, I want that and I think I want some um, probably um, what kind of a blue do I want that to blend into do I want because I want it to kind of light up because um, there's lightning see the lightning here and here so I'll paint around the lightning and then I can go over that with pencil but I want a lighter I think I'll just go ahead and go with my um, usual blue harbor for the blue Joyce is, yes, I know, yeah, yes, yes, Janet will be streaming at one, yes, I gotta pour some of this out, it's almost empty, put your link in there, Janet, for everybody, put your link in there for everybody, okay, so now let me move my pencils for a minute, until I get past the, they're all rolling off, all right, let's see. All right, let's go ahead and do a... And I just wet my brush and got a little bit of water on here. I'm going to just do a wash of um, orange and uh, do the sky. So hopefully y'all can see, guys. You have to kind of let me know. You really want to keep your paint watered down if you want to do a wash because you don't want to lose... You don't want to lose the um, lines... I mean, there may be sometimes you want to paint over them, but we'll see here. Let's just get crack a lack. And again, if you have any questions, guys, put them in caps so I know that you're talking to me. And we're just going to do this Jasmine Beckett Halloween. I'm going to be still here. I have to get my craft room unpacked. And kind of... Okay, yay. Okay, well, thanks for just watching along. I do that too sometimes. Just watch along and work. Hello Carla, anybody else popping in that I might have missed? Thanks for being here. Yep, don't want to lose the lines. 
and I don't know why I'm being so careful around his eyes and lips because that's going to be, uh, I'm just going to paint that in anyway, so I don't really have to worry about it. <laughs> yes, color pencil. Yes, acrylic paint will go over color pencil. Well, let me say this, it'll go over Prismacolor. I can't promise you if it'll go over uh, oil-based, uh, you know, um, Prismacolor or wax-based. So I don't know about the oil-based, the oil-based pencils, but I don't really do much paint over pencil. I do pencil over paint. That's why I do the washes like this, because uh, my Prisma colors will go over it just fine. Over the washes. Okay. Yes, I did my nails orange on purpose. Where is it? I'll show you. Oh, where is it? Here it is. It's the uh, Salon Perfect Neon Pop called uh, Traffic Cone. But it's matte. It's not shiny. I had to put a coat of gloss on. Now, of course, I've been using matte medium all morning, so they're all messed up again. But um, I use the Triple Shine uh, gloss uh, over the polish. But, yeah. I got some green, I got some purple, I got some, you know, Halloween colors, fall colors. I got, you know, different, so. All right, now I do want her to have probably a velvet, purple velvet outfit. So, do I want orange? I think I will have some orange stripes down here. And I never care if I get off the lines. Uh, it doesn't bother me, especially if you cut them out. But... You know, or you can even put a black border around it, which that might be nice in this case. A black border for Halloween. So maybe we'll do that too. So let's do some orange stripes. And again, I'll probably just do her little trim. I'll do her trim in a pencil. And you can use marker or whatever. Oops. Paint your nails. <laughs> it's good for the, you know, Halloween festival. Okay, so she does have some wings back there. They're kind of kind of hard to see. I'm trying to see what this, oh, that's part of her wing there. So that's the sky, I think, behind there. I'm trying to see where her wings and the sky ends. Not, you know, I'm the boss of my color book. I can make it up as I want. And then I think he'll have, let's see, if she has, maybe she should have, if she has a purple velvet dress, maybe he needs a dark maroon velvet jacket. I don't know. Let's do some stripes. See, I feel like I want to coordinate them now. <laughs> Since they're a couple. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making it up, guys. I don't know what colors I want them to be yet. Okay. Those buttons there. I think I'm going to have her have orange eyes. So I'm just going to paint in her pupils right now. Um, all orange, and I'll, I'll fade them out and blend them out here in a little bit. I just want to get them all orange for now. She's going to have orange eyes. Will that be creepy? <laughs> okay, so now I want... Let's go back over. Where's, did I put black? Oh, here it is. All right, so I'm going to take the black, and I want to do a black sky with a blue light. Oh, let me say it a different brush. That one's too floppy. I want that floppy brush. There we go. Maybe he needs a black jacket with a purple vest that matches her dress. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm just talking out loud, guys. We'll do the black bats after we do the sky with a glow. So, we'll see if we can get this done in about an hour, guys. Hour and a half. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, we never really finish on time. Because we always gab and do other things.
see any questions, just holla. I'm just going to do a little bit of... If y'all are just joining me, this is the Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween book that Tassie sent. And I uh, told y'all that I would color in it this month. A couple pages. We'll try to get a couple pages. Can y'all see or do I need to zoom in? Maybe I should zoom in one more. Alright, let me get the base going and then we'll zoom in when I start doing detail. How about that? Lightning back in here. I think I want more black sky than blue, but I thought I put some blue out. Well, there's some there. Okay. So I'm going to water this down now and do some watery, cloudy kind of sky. It's a little too dark there. Let me get a. I need to get a baby wipe, but I'm going to go ahead and just get it to grab a tissue here while it's wet. Because I want it to be like a dark blue. Because I'm going to have a lightning coming, popping out. You know, lightning. So. I want this to look cloudy. And I'll probably, I might even put in my own clouds. Let's get a base coated first. You still with me? My chat okay? <clears throat> I'll just get crack a lack and then. Just getting some water over there and watering this down. These pages are pretty thick as far as adding water, but you don't want to get it oversaturated and then keep adding on top. If you do a lot of water, then you want to dry it in between so that it's not uh, going to oversaturate your page. And these are single-sided, so you you know you're pretty good at and you don't have to worry about things going through. But if you use any kind of alcohol-based markers, make sure you put something behind it. A little darker there. And again, I'm going to put in some white clouds floating across the moon and all that. Your background always looks splotchy. Um, well, like I'm doing it splotchy here on purpose. But yeah, like where the flat black is, there's no water. There's no water in that black. There's water in this blue because I'm trying to make it splotchy on purpose. But you can't add, let me put it this way, there's certain colors like red, yellow, lime green. Some colors are more translucent and you might even need two coats. But if you want it flat, don't add any water. Okay, I'm adding water on purpose to make it splotchy. And I don't even really know why I'm trying to go around those bats because I'm going to paint them black anyway. Ian, did I see you're going to the UK? I, I saw a video, your newest video. I think it's your newest video. Your newest video where you're talking about going to the UK, but I haven't had a chance to watch it. I just saw the thumbnail. So are you going to are you going on some kind of a um, a craft retreat thing? 
are you part of it or and feel free to put your link in there okay does he have I'm not sure what this is supposed to be her wing wouldn't come over there I'm not sure what that is maybe I'll just put some more clouds or something in there behind him because I don't think he has any wings so I'm not sure what that is um, the midnight blue look that one I'm trying to say it comes yeah, yeah, you have to, you know, don't put any water in it or, and it, and it also depends on the paper, guys. If you have a watercolory type paper, if you have, um, you know, whatever, it, the paper does matter. The paper does matter. I'm waiting to see if Ian, um, yes, you are, you're leaving, oh, you're leaving today! Put a link into your uh, YouTube channel, Ian. Oh my gosh, I'll have to go watch that video. I hope you'll vlog from over there. Okay, that's, I'm going to go ahead and put that a little back. I think that needs to be black back there anyway, because that's probably her wings back in there. You're leaving for the UK today and will be there for two weeks. Not crappy, lots of exploring, okay. Oh, that's his cape? Okay. Well, it might be the sky now. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that could be his cape. Oh, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> well, oh, trust me. They may not post till I get back. Oh, might not post till you get back. Okay. All right, so now well, I gotta just make some decisions here on the clothing. Like I said, I wanted her to have a purple, like dioxazine purple velvet outfit or dress. Let me find my purple, there it is. Oh. Nope, that's black plum, although that might work. Mm, it may be too brown, let's test it out. That may be too brown. Yeah. I might need the doxazine purple. Oh, that's how you pronounce it. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Here. Because I really want it to stand out. Okay, I gotta open this one. Where's my knife? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's, I just need a little bit brighter purple, I think. I want it to show up. All right, so. But I don't have to necessarily have it solid because it is going to be velvet. So I do want it dark. So I think I'm just going to kind of smoosh it around to make it look not exactly solid, but, you know, kind of solid. <laughs> Look out everyone, she's got a knife. <laughs> Where's that what's that what movie am I thinking? Something just came to my mind. Oh, I know what it is. Oh my gosh, it just came to my we've been watching the reruns of Frasier. And one of my favorite Frasiers is when he does the nightmare on Elm Street. I think is what it is. He does, Frazier does a radio show, and every year he does like um, the old-timey radio show, you know, where he does, uh, everybody has a part, it's like a play, it's like a play, right, on, on a radio show, like the old-timey radio, I guess what we would call it a vlog, <laughs> it would be like a vlog, anyway, or a podcast. <laughs> so anyway, he does this show, um, and it's called Nightmare on Elm Street. I don't know. I think it's Nightmare on Elm Street. And he wrote a play. So he gets everybody in, and his friends and everybody to have a part, right? And uh, he's running out of people because he's so demanding as a, as a, you know, director of the play that people are leaving him left and right. So by the time the play starts, he's got like three people doing all these parts. And Bulldog... One of his girlfriends, um, 
it gets apart and um and and Roz who went to the dentist she's all novocaine up and so her mouth is all uh her mouth is all numb and so I'm trying to think of which one is it Roz or was it Bulldog's girlfriend yeah, I think it's his. Uh, I think it's his girlfriend, who um, Bulldog's girlfriend, who has apparently has dyslexia. You know, see, reads everything backwards or whatever. And so the only line she had in the play was, "Look out, he's got a gun." That was a, and so when Ian just said, "Look out, she's got a knife," it just immediately brought that show back to my mind. And so anyway, when it comes out time for her to say her line, she goes, "Look." Look out! He's got he's got a nug, or he got she got it backwards. Anyway, <laughs> if y'all ever get a chance to see that Frasier, it's on YouTube. I'm sure it's sure it's on YouTube. Go look for um, uh, the old Frasier shows, Nightmare on I think it's Elm Street, and it's just hilarious. It's my all time favorite Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> so there. Anyway, I like. All right, I'm liking that little velvety look there. So, oh, somebody's posting a new watercolor. What kind of watercolor set is it? Terry. I mean, uh, Iffy. Is that a, a watercolor set? Or a watercolor pencils? Y'all are talking about that are water soluble share share what it is okay now do i want him to have i think i want him to have a black jacket with a purple velvet see i'm making them very coordinated they probably wouldn't be this coordinated but you know they're a couple they're going out they're they're coordinated Are y'all talking about watercolor pencils? We do try to use different things occasionally here. It's just, you know, these are my favorite things to use, so. A oh, watercolor pastel pen. Oh, watercolor pastel. I haven't seen those. I mean, I know of pan pastels, but I don't. I don't like the dryness of pastels. And I do have pastel pencils, but I don't think I've ever seen watercolor. Where's Eileen? Eileen's probably got them. Eileen, do you have the watercolor pastel pencils? Hey, little P. Anybody else popping in? Hey, Arla. Hey, y'all go follow Ian. Who makes the pastel ones? What company makes them? All right, let's see here. What is... Let me get a little bit of brown here for his roots. I'm not making much, well, I'm making pretty good progress. I've only been here 30 minutes, so I guess this is pretty good for 30 minutes. All right, let me do a wash on the stem here. I gotta get in here, with, this is just the washes, guys, so I gotta get in here with the color pencils and shade and blend. I'm trying to get Stabilio. Is that the brand of the pencils? Stabilio is the one that makes the uh, pastel pencils, water soluble. I don't think I've ever seen them. Okay, do I want that to be, do I want the lapels to be? Hmm.
Are they Stabilio? Pencil cards are supposed to be one. I don't know, are they? I'm asking you guys. <laughs> I don't know if they are. That's what I'm saying. They, if there's something new, I hadn't heard of them. Yeah, Janet's going to stream at one, guys. So grab her link there. All right, let's see. Do I want his jacket black? Do I want her wings black? Do I want her wings purple? I might want her wings purple. Let's go with purple. I'm just going to go for it here. That's her hair there. It's watered down. It's, it's thin enough that you see the lines through it. Except where I want it flat. See, this is, this is watered down there. This is flat black, nothing in it. Just a, a, like just a wet brush with this because I want it not exactly solid. I want to be able to make it look like velvety. But I can go over any of it with color pencils, which I will. Yeah, um, Suzanne, what brand are they? I know Suzanne's got all kinds of art supplies coming in these days. This is just the base coat, guys. This is just the base coat for all of it. I haven't done any shading or anything yet. This is just the base coat and a lot of chatting. <laughs> Can't, can't, if you're watching this recording, I, nobody's telling me the brand. I don't think they know what kind. Yes, ex exactly, Queenie. Queenie said you get a lot further along with a, a paint than you do with color pencil. Yes, yes, you do. And again, I'm not worried about going outside of the lines here because I'll either cut it off. I'll either cut it on that line because you know these go in my book. Okay, let's see. I think I want... That might be part of her wing there, and then that'll be black behind there. Um, I cut them down and put them in my three ring binder. They are Stabilio or Stabilo, however you say it. Pastels? Pastel, Suzanne? Water soluble? Water, water soluble? <laughs> Okay, so now I think I do want his jacket black with maybe a kind of a gray, gray or collar or blue gray collar to, or just a little bit of gray in it to make it stand out. And I can always put some blue pencil in the black to make it has some shading, but you know, velvet. Mm. Water soluble pit. Oh, Stabilo water pastel water soluble soluble. What? Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, I've never seen those. Um, are they new guys? Yes and yes. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like chalky pastel stuff because it's so dry. It kind of like, you know, I don't like to touch it. I mean, I have and I do and I, you know, I've had to do like in uh, life drawing and stuff like that. You you can use uh, 
depending on how fast and how big of drawings. Chalk or Conti crayons. Conti crayons aren't as uh, dry and chalky feeling, but I don't like that chalky feeling. You know what I mean, Bird? Silver, a silver collar, that would be good. Who said that? Beloved Ghost, silver collar would be nice. Yeah, because I thought about silver on her wings or, or some kind of metallic look on her wings, but I didn't think about it on his collar. Good idea. Okay. I think he'll have a... Um, let's do the back there of his... He does, in fact, have some kind of cape on. Do that black. That can be silver. And then that needs to be the trim there, though, needs to be probably. And I want his pants. We'll do his pants purple. I'm just I'm just kind of I'm over coordinating this, guys. Their outfits, you know. I'm over coordinating them. Oh my goodness, just trying to get it done. So I am over coordinating their outfits. <laughs> The paper sketch that you want to disappear. Well, yeah, when I uh, used to do... Oh, no! I got a black blob on her nose. Hang on, guys. I have to repaint that out. Hang on. I'm going to let her nose dry. <laughs> and paint it out white. Uh, um, when I would do mural paintings, I'd use the big sidewalk chalk. You know, the kids' sidewalk chalk, those big sidewalk chalks. That's what I would use to draw out mural uh murals so let's make sure that's oh, see i'm making it worse oh my gosh where's a baby wipe <laughs> hang on guys i got paint on my hands <laughs> give her a cat nose no i don't want her to have a cat nose let me get the excess black paint off and then I'll dry it and go over it with white. I'll just paint it out with white paint, guys. But let it let, I want it to dry because otherwise I'm going to be smearing it. All this is very messy because I'm going to go over it with uh, pencil. Alright, so let's see. Let me uh, let me just go ahead and put a gray collar in there for now and then I'll go over it with uh, I'll go over it with uh, silver. Go ahead and put gray. Cat nose. <laughs> no, she didn't have a cat nose. I blobbed the paint on there. We'll paint it out. Okay. So, I need some, some accent colors. The washes can be kind of messy because you go in there and fix it all with your pencils with decals. A rat knows even better. You're going to have to redraw. Yes, it's no big deal. <laughs> this all it is is a little, you know, I'm good. I, I shade their faces anyway. So it doesn't really matter about that. All right. So let's go ahead and put, he's going to have these black eyes. I might put a highlight in there like he's really got eyes in there, you know. So let's just get that in there. I'm going to get to the detail here shortly. We'll crack a lack. We'll crack a lack. And then she's going to have some pupils too. She's looking creepy. That's what we want. We want her to look creepy. <laughs> um, you're going, oh, um. Hey, Miss Sally, anybody else popping in? All right, now i got to decide, do I want her, I think I want her to have gray hair. I'm going to, let me wa make a wash here. I think she's going to have gray hair. And I think she may have, you know, I hate for all the girls uh, in the Halloween, and I, again, I haven't gone to look at her painting, so I don't know if they all have pale blue skin or purpley skin or not. But I think it would be cool to have her, at least, have a purpley skin. You know, instead of uh, instead of flesh color, right? 
had a hard time with nouns. Says, oh, okay, Miss Rose. Well, she doesn't have much of one. She just has a little button nose. So it's not like, it's not like we have a lot to contend with there. Oh, broke a fingernail. Hang on. Mm hmm. Silver hair. Silver or gray. We'll put some. We'll put some. Um, see the thing about um, a one-sided page, especially since I cut them out, is I can put stickles. So we might stickle up her hair. All right. So let's see. And same thing for the bat wing areas. I'll go in there with. I'll probably go in there with a. A silver as well all right so I want her stripe here I want this black down here I think let's, let's go with black and again I'm gonna get in there sharp with pencils guys just kind of just getting in there a little bit here so it's a little messy it is a little messy but don't don't fret now do I want I think I want maybe I'll have silver in there too in his vest, gray or silver shine, like satin ribbon in there, like this, so maybe, they make a lovely couple. Okay, let me fix my fingernail, I just chipped it in here. Let me file it down real quick. Yeah, I got a little chip in my little nail there. Okay. All righty. Now, let me get some white and fix her little nose, and we'll get the pencils out and start getting the details. See if we can get it done in about 30 minutes. <laughs> I think we can. All right, so i got to probably maybe take two coats. I don't know. But, yeah, she's going to have like a purpley skin. All right, let me hit this with, let me dry it. Let me dry everything. <laughs> Ah, guys, let me dry it. All right, now we'll zoom in. <laughs> we'll zoom in a little closer so we can do the detail. All right, let's refocus. All right, so now I'm going to get some pencils out here. Let's start with black, white. I want some, a uh, little bit of moon yellow. Mm, maybe I should have put some yellow in the moon. Do I want the yellow moon with maybe a little bit of orange? Let's see. Let's do that. Let me get my brush back out there real quick. What do I do with it? Here we go. All right. I have a little bit of yellow left over here. A little bit of yellow ochre. Let's, no, that's not bright enough. Let's go with let's get a lighter yellow. That's too bright. All right. All right, so I'm going to put a dollop of brighter yellow. And I'll shade a little bit of orange in there. And the black bats go in there the black bats and the lightning. Okay, where's my orange? Just a touch of orange. I want this to almost look like the moon and the pumpkin have a simpatico going on. <laughs> Something like that to start with. Okay, let me dry that now. Let me dry that moon. Let's see, let me get my black. Where's my sharpeners? Here they are. Got a little bowl here to sharpen into. And let's see what we can get done here. Uh oh, something's still wet here. Hang on, let's dry that some more. All right. 
All right, so I'm going to start up here in the just well. Okay, I'm going to turn this sideways to get up here because it's going to have a glow on it. Um, you know what? I actually want to get in here. I think I'll just get a pit pen to do the little bats and pen. Should put a paper behind here, but I think it's okay. I don't want to go through to the next page. I mean, I don't care if it goes through this, but I don't want to go to the next page. So let's color in those little bats. Which are going to have a glow and the moon glow. <clears throat> Oh, let me do this up here. Let me get around the lightning, the lightning bolts. I'm gonna crack a lack, people. We're gonna crack a lack. Get this done. Hopefully. Okay. I'm going to take my white and do a glow around the moon. And it's because there's acrylic paint here that I can do this. I'm going to add some more little lightning bolts of my own. I need my black get, get back in here. And again, I'm not worried about going off the edge because I'm going to cut it out and, and mount it on a piece of black cardstock. So it doesn't matter if I go off the edge here because I'm going to cut it out. All right, so let's go around these bats. I think I'll draw, bring those lightning bolts down again. Y'all still with me? Let me do a test. Make sure my chat doesn't lock up. not sure what this is supposed to be if it's supposed to be his cape I 
guess we can make it as cape. All right, let's go back to the black. I'm just going to paint this in like it's his cape. Maybe with a silver trim on it to bring it out. All right, we'll separate that with some uh, pencil and silver. All right, let me dry that. Okay, where's my white Posca? Well, I'll wait on that a second. Okay. Y'all have any Halloween costume thingies going on this year? I don't really do Halloween, but <laughs> except for the pumpkins, which by the way, I am going to do a, uh, I want to do a, what do you call it, a painted collaged pumpkin. Maybe we'll do that next week. I think that'll be fun. Get out a, uh, get a pumpkin and, and paint it or collage it, mix media it. Slatters all of you in PJs. Okay, Dorothy. <laughs> My daughter in LA who is a uh, RN, she went to, uh, she did a you know they de they they wear costumes at, you know to the hospital on Halloween, and she got she dressed up as a entom entomologist you know a, bugs you know, and she <laughs> she put a plastic she had her scrubs on and her stethoscope but she put plastic bugs all over herself. <laughs> uh, that was quite amusing. Quite, quite amusing. Oh, that's a little bright. It's a little bright. Let's go back over that a little. I want some variation in this, but I don't want it too bright. All right, let me get in here with a brown. Let's get a dark brown. You can see now we're going to start doing all the shading. What will the theme be for the pumpkin? Now I haven't decided. You know, last year I think it was Star Star Trek Star Wars. It was Star Wars last year, and after I did it, Hubster took it to work and he kept it on his desk till like the end of November, till it finally had to go. It had to go. <laughs> So this is kind of a little hint of a yellow green in there for the pumpkin stem and um, you know where it would have grown from. A little bit of yellow with color over it. Did any of y'all watch the Food Network? And y'all know I ain't cooking, but you know, I still like the creativity of like the pumpkin, not the pumpkin wars, Halloween wars. Halloween Wars. Still working on it, Allie? <laughs> There's a family Halloween party with just a dress. <laughs> News. <laughs> Twinkle Toes said her granddaughter was a scary pink spider 
and her brother was a pest control guy. <laughs> Bug busters. That's clever. Oh my gosh, that is clever. Bug busters. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm going to just add a little bit of, because I'm going to put silver, I'm going to put silver uh, stickles on this. So I don't have to get too much detail in this silver here because it's going to be, um, I'm going to put stickles wherever there's silver. So I really don't got to, you know, get too much shading and stuff because it's going to be covered over with stickles, right? <laughs> All right. But just a little bit of highlight in there so that when the stickles goes on top of it you can see a little bit of something going on underneath. Alright, where's my orange? This might be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping my pencils. I think that is orange. It's from the orange. orange. Ah, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let me sharpen. Do you watch those? I know. I do too. I love. I mean, I don't cook or anything. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to make any of these uh, holiday things, right? Annie did a Walking Dead um, cupcake thing that she found on Pinterest. That was really cool. I'll have to, later on during the season, I'll find some of those. Uh, Annie, my daughter Annie does cook, and she's real creative with anything like kitchen like that, you know. Uh, baking and decorating and stuff like that. You have to miss Survivor tonight? Oh, oh, sorry. I wasn't there last week. I mean, I was. I watched it, but I wasn't on Twitter. So, yeah. I'll miss you. Miss you, Julie Topaz. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm a big Survivor fan. I've watched it since day one. So I'm just starting to do a little shading on the pumpkin now. Um... And I'm going to do this. Is going to be black there. I might do some uh, light coming out of it. Some light glow. You know, like he's got a candle in his head. <laughs> yeah. So we might do a, a yellow and orange glow coming out of his head. Out of these cracks. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and put those in before I start shading here. Um, so anyway, there's a bunch of us that get on Survivor. Well, I, I also tweet with the hashtag people, hashtag Survivor, and our friends that watch it. So I think I'm going to do a glow coming out of his eyes. That'll be cool, won't it? A glow coming out of his eyes. Maybe the top of his head. Let's see if we can pull that off. I say this is what I'd like to do. Now, whether it turns out or not, I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Are you going to put flames for... Yeah, that's what I just said. Hey, Carrie, that's what I just said. I wanted, uh, I wanted the painty eyes coming out. I don't think they're going to be flames. I think they're going to be like light shooting out. It's not going to be, you know, I mean, it could be a flame in there, but I was thinking more like glowing out. Like, you know. <laughs> and hi, Carrie, by the way. Um, how's your new pet family? Okay, so now let me get back to going in here with the shading. Mm 
He's got his little buttons, which we might stickle up to. We'll see. All right, let me get in here with the blend with the orange on top of the vermilion. Um, I will watch the tweets instead of watching the show. <laughs> Good, but my stuff is covered in... Oh, okay, Carrie. Yeah. Maybe, does he have a... Do they have a brush for him where you could brush out all his loose hair so it's not all over your stuff? I mean, can you brush him and make a make him a extra friend? <laughs> all right. Let me sharpen this. Do I have glow-in-the-dark paint? No, Sarah, I don't think I do. That wouldn't really help us here, but... <laughs> All right. But i got to do that last. I'll have to do that after I get everything else, you know, taken care of here. So... Get the Posca pen on my lightning here, too. So I want them to have a nice glow to him. And around her, too, actually. Now remember, they're going to have silver, her hair and everything. So I'll just, I'll put in a little bit of gray here. Um... But it, her hair is going to be silver, glitter. Um, two shelties and cats, no amount of brushing. <laughs> I had a husky in Alaska. Yeah, there's no amount of brushing that really ever works, is there? All right, so I'm just going to... I don't want to... I mean, I'm kind of hurrying, but I don't want to hurry too much. I want to get this done. You know, the next 30, 45 minutes or so. Ja uh, ja uh, Carrie, I don't know if you know that Janet's coming on at 1. I don't know if you saw that before you came in. She's going to stream at 1. Joycey's not streaming. Um, okay, yeah, I wanted silver. Let me just go over it with the gray here. The trim on her dress. All right, guys, I gotta try to stay in camera here. Sharpen again. Falling in love with that pumpkin. <laughs> Let's give her some silver gray eyebrows. I still gotta get her skin and her eyes in there. That takes a while, too. All right, so I'm gonna want. Again, this is all going to stand out with silver, but I will shadow it here in just a second. And, you know, just like I always say, guys, just because I'm hurrying, when you see me hurrying to color or do anything, don't ever feel you have to do that, <laughs> unless you're a streamer. <laughs> and then you got to get crack a lacking people. You hear that, Janet? <laughs> Okay, I need some black right in there. And I gotta shade, shade all her clothes and all that. Alright, so I want some because I'm gonna want this to stand out. All right, I think I got enough of the sky done here, although my moon's a little crooked. <laughs> my moon a little less crooked there. Turn it around. Oh, 
Hmm. I think I need to paint that out. I don't like the way my moon is crooked. I don't like a crooked moon. Don't be a crooked moon. Let's get some yellow here. Is it dried out? Oh, there it goes. There we go. Let's make it a little bit more. Uh-oh. Picked up some black there. That's okay. Let's just smush it around there. Um, okay, let me dry that. Let's get a little bit of All right now. Where's my Posca? All right now, it's going to go back in here with the lightning. Add my own extra lightning. Let's do a little bit of lightning hitting there. What do y'all think? The pumpkin that looks bad. Well, we're going to see if we can pull the eyes, you know, I was going to say pull the eyes off, but, you know, make the eyes work <laughs> in a minute. Okay, now let's go in here with some, uh, I want to get in here with my gray again and kind of do a little bit of a little bit of accents and shadows and or, or a velvety look on the jacket here and here's his arms thing right here's where the crease is for his there's the that's where his what do you call it comes over his uh, cape Just do a little bit. Of, keep it pretty black, though. Okay, where's my black? You have to keep imagining the stickles, guys. Keep imagining the stickles. Okay. Because you have to put that on last. Because once you get the stickles on there, you know, you don't want it. You can't really touch anything. Because you might be moving it around. Okay, where's this belt down here? Liking it? Okay, thanks, guys. 
I'm trying to get there. And then his, he's going to he'll have a silver belt buckle too, which will be stickles as well. Again, don't need to really shade it much because the stickles will make it glow. Okay, so let's get in here on the belt. Give it a leathery look. Clean up some of these edges here. Now, let me find a couple purples. I need a bright purple and a dark purple. Or a cherry. What is that? Black cherry? Yeah, black cherry. Black cherry. Might have a little bit of highlights here and there with the lavender, like maybe right around the button. Because I want to keep it kind of velvety looking, right? See how it gets all nice and cleaned up with the nice sharp pencil? A little orange button there needs to pop out. And again, all this is going to be shaded, I mean, uh, colored with stickles, so you don't have to get too intense in there. Oops. Oh. All right, I think I got a broken one here. What I want to do is have this kind of look satiny. And yeah, same thing down here when I get down to her skirt. I want this to kind of look satiny too. So we'll make it like this. And blend it in and so it looks like there's a streak of light going across it. Let me get in here with the black. And again, if we have a light area, even coming across the black, it'll look like satin. See how that looks like there's a piece of light going across? And that's what we're going to do here on his vest as well. I need the darker. I don't want quite this. I don't think that's going to be dark enough. Whoa. <laughs> uh oh, my chat froze. Hey, oh, We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Bright orange right in there. Where's my orange paint? It's a little bit of white. Can you see how it looks like it's shiny? Bueller, Bueller. <laughs> All right, let's come back down to here.
Am I, am I still with you guys? Does look shiny, okay. Um, I just imagine the folds of things. Somebody asked me where I put the highlights. I can just, you know, I've done so much color pencil that I can just kind of imagine like the wing right there is like flipped up a little right there and then goes down behind her hair here. Same thing for here. It's like darker right in here. And then it would be lighter where it flipped over. And the velvet, I just want it kind of all modeled looking, you know, because velvet doesn't, I mean, I'm not saying it can't have a shine, but velvet is more, um, you know, would be more matted like see how I wanted it all kind of crunchy looking I don't know if any of y'all ever had crushed velvet pants back in the day <laughs> purple ones at that I still have to do her skin and everything and his eyes so yeah let me sharpen again and again, guys, all the silver and stuff is going to have stickles. So. And there'll be a shadow right under her hair here. Probably even darker than that. And same thing for his vest here. I want it to look like velvet. I don't have to fix it. I don't have to put a nice shine there for a button. Let's put a little bit of highlight on these buttons. There's another one right there, which I'll go over with orange. You can even have just a little, even a little bit more shine on that silver there. And of course, her hair is going to be stickled as well. So it's going to be all silver 
everything that's gray is going to be silver. All right, let me go back down here on our little dress and blend it out just a touch. The velvet looks good. I had a green velvet pantsuit back when your mom still dressed you, Julie. <laughs> you had a crushed velvet. You still have some, <laughs> Suzanne. Get a little tighter around the wings here. And again, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut it right along the edge and put this on black cardstock so I'm not worried about it um, going out of the lines. So I have a couple little lines there. Bat lines, bat wing lines. Okay, now we, all we have really left to do, other than the stickles, is her skin and, the, and his eyes. His eyes. That's a little bright right there. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to work on her. So I'm going to get a pen to get her pupils nice and sharp. I'll try to zoom in so because I know everybody likes to see the eyes. Let's go ahead and try to do that, guys. Let me focus. Hang on, where's my card? Where's the pink card? <laughs> You're, are you saying you still wear them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. I think my pen, I've gone over it. I need some, I've gone over the paint too much with my pen. It's kind of drying it out. Okay, I do want her to have purple lips because we're all color coordinated today. <laughs> and I might have to go back over her nose again. If y'all missed it, I have a big black splotch that happened on her nose. So let me get a little bit of white paint because I really need to paint that out a little better. Um, I dropped a big blob of black paint on her nose and I've already gone one layer to get it uh, off of there. So <laughs> let's put a little bit more. We're just going to have a little bit of shadow there anyway. So and it'll be a little tricky to go over the bumpiness of my paint there because I did kind of put a big blob and <laughs> kind of lumped it up. Let me dry that. Okay, again, I think I want her to have like purple skin. Okay, so let me go ahead and start. Um, I want her to be um, a purple tint to her. So let's just go in and I'm going to take my time on the skin. I'm not going to put 20 layers like I, I normally would on a, a portrait, but I do want her to be purple. <laughs> Jody said she's been coloring a background in Enchanted Forest since Dee Dee started streaming. Still nowhere near finished, and she's busted out this Halloween awesome. <laughs> Ah, Jody. Oh my gosh, Jody. I need to send you an art card. Email me. <laughs> that needs an art card, Jody. Email me your address. I'll send you one. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm just kind of starting with a little bit of purple, you know, skin tone. <laughs> Very lightly. When I'm doing skin, guys, let me move this out of the way. Um, it it's very light layers. I mean, I know I say that uh, you know how important it is to do light, light layers, especially on skin. But it really is. It really is important. She needs to look, a, yeah, pasty look, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go kind of go for that, you know. But I just got to first get a, you know, like a little base coat going here. And I'm going to do her eyes here in a minute. But this is where all the shadow would be, like the darkest. And it's, when I say darkest, it's still very, very light. I mean, very light. Very light touch. Light touch. Thanks, Terry. Again, her hair and her eyebrows are going to be glitter. Okay. But I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time because we're going to run out of time. So I'm going to give her some nice purple everything. Cheeks, lips, shadow on her nose. Everything, it's all going to be purple tinted instead of uh, skin colors. Although I might add a little bit of peach in there to blend it just to kind of make it just a little bit of. Okay, let's just give her a little bit of a nose, not too much, because these jasmine girls, there's just not much in, the, in their middle faces. If you look at them carefully, there's not a lot. They're kind of very simplistic in, the, in their shapes, you know. Very, very light. All right, let me get back in her eyes now. Let's go ahead and get her some pupils going. Okay, let me go ahead and I want a little bit of a, a shade. Let's put some shadow in her, in her, uh, under her lid here. She's going to have a shadow. Okay. And the same thing, instead of having like peach um, color, you know, eyes in there, you know, like, um, you know, like your corners, her eyes are going to have purple. And I'm going to get in there with a little darker purple, like eyeshadow and stuff too. But right now I just want to get, get her eyes shaded in. All right, now let me get... Uh, I think I want her almost to have a dark, I don't want them to be red, that's too red. Let's go back with the orange. Sharpen. 
you'll see. And I go over here and I clean my white pencil off. Like I'm touching the orange here. And it, and if you don't, can you see how there's orange on the pencil? You want to get, you know, you've got to keep your white pencils clean. You like the fix on the nose? Well, the, the Jasmine girls really don't have too much on their nose. All right, let me keep working on the eyes, and then I'm going to blend in her purple skin that will glitter her hair. Purple skin, orange eye. Yeah, well, that's because it's, you know, I color coordinated them all up. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go back. Let's finish up her eyes. Here was my dark purple. This is my black cherry. Yeah. And I always add extra eyelashes. All right, oh, let's sharpen that again. I always add extra black eyelashes um, than she they have on them. All right, so I'm going to put a nice dark purple. Can you see the difference right there to that? See? Okay, I'm going to put her makeup on here. Now I'm going to take my black marker or my pen. Let's make sure. I think I need another one. This one is pretty much toast, I think. Let's see. Here's a brush pen. Let's see if I can do it. In our pupils. I want nice black pupils. It's too not sharp enough. Let's see. Where's my small one? Here it is. Another pit. I'm just using these pit pens. All right, so now let's do our eyelashes. I'll show you the comparison of what the eyelashes look like and then how they look after I add to it. Alright, so you can compare the eyelashes without the false lashes, with the false lashes. <laughs> I need a little bit darker orange in there too. I'm going to get in there with that. She needs a little bit more depth than her pupils. I have nice big spider lashes. Okay, now I need a little bit more. I, I don't have a darker orange than that. I think well, maybe this is this a little darker or something. Can you tell? Not the same color. I might just have to go with a sienna. Let me find my sienna or terracotta. Here's my terracotta mahogany red. Well, maybe. I just need a little bit darker in her pupils here to give them more depth. Can you see the difference? Okay, now let me blend that out with the orange sharpen. Sharpen. I want to take the time to blend those pupils nice. I 
in and my blue, back to my little bit of blue highlight under her shadow of her lashes. All right, let's make sure my pupils are nice and round. And another pop of highlight with the Posca. I think she needs a sub light. I mean a sub highlight. <laughs> All right, and then let me get the white in there. Blend that out. I think that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's pop the light out in the right part of her eye. Let's do a little bit of highlight on her nose, a little bit on her lip. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a, just a couple of white, I guess I could do that with paint. I want to do a little bit of white paint on her hair so that the highlights in her white hair, uh, her silver hair, will pop when I put, because I'm going to remember, I'm going to put stickles over this, but I still want, oh, got yellow in there. I still want um, a little bit more bright to her hair, and I got to still do her skin. So let's just put a few little highlights in her hair where the uh, stickles will, you know, show through. Okay. All right, now, let's dry this, and I'll do her skin, and then we'll do the stickles. All right, let me see if I get my lightest purple here. This might be it. No, I need to look at this. Yeah, it is lighter. And get the so somebody's going to want to know what purples I use for the skin. This one is lilac, and this one is lavender. So now I'm going to take the lavender again, very lightly, and I'm going to go over the darker, but just as soft as can be. Little shadow there. Very softly, just kind of very lightly blend it out, bring it out because I'm going to go over it with white. So you don't want it to streak. So you got to do it very lightly if you don't want it to streak. I mean, I'm barely touching the paper, guys. I mean, if you could see how lightly I'm touching the paper. And it might get a little streaky on her nose because remember we had to go over it. Um, we had to paint over it with the uh, white paint to get rid of the black blob I dropped on it. So, thanks, guys. Well, I hope y'all got some inspiration and some ideas. And again, I'm getting ready to do the stickles, and I do have orange stickles too. But I always tell you guys, all you really need is the diamond glaze stickles because it's clear and whatever you go over, whatever you go over, it's going to show through. But on some of these oranges, I might use a little bit of my orange stickles just because I have it and can use it. But the clear stickles will bring a glitter to it. And uh, you'll still see the color underneath. Okay, so if you only buy one stickles, 
then get the diamond glaze or the diamond stickles. I think it's just called diamond. Okay, I think that's good. All right. All right, so now let me get my white. And again, very, very lightly, I'm going to start in the middle and work my way out so that I can just start very lightly blending. So we've only used two colors on our skin and white. But even that little bit of, see the purple on there? So I'm just very softly, very softly. I can't even say enough how softly <laughs> that I'm blending in her purple skin. And we still have to do the glow in his eyes. We'll do that next, and then we'll do the stickles. Can you even see? She's frighteningly beautiful. Thank you, Pepper. Thanks, everybody, for watching, being here. If you, if you bear down let me see if i could well i don't really want to ruin it somewhere <laughs> but i was going to show you an example but if you bear down anywhere and uh and try to mash down the white you're going to get purple streaks it's going to streak on it's going to look like tweed it's going to look like a tweed and you don't you know you don't want that so you have to just take your time and do very light light just keep going over and over and keep cleaning your pencil because otherwise if you start over here you're going to put that purple over there and you'll have a big purple blob so right now all her whole nose was had a big black blob on it that i had to paint over so she does have a little bit of bumpy maybe we'll have let's put some purple freckles on her yeah We'll put some purple freckles. Or will that look like zits? <laughs> I don't want her to look, well, you know, hey. But uh, I could put some purple freckles. What do y'all think? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, we're in Atlanta. Um, we're not on the coast. Sandy was asking if, you know, we may end up getting rain from it or something, but we're not on the coast of Georgia. Atlanta's in the middle, north middle. Um, I don't know if my relatives in Savannah, they would know more about, you know. Can y'all see? All right, look at her. Look at here compared to there. This is what we started with, and this is what we ended up with. Can you see how blended out that is? But it, you have to take your time doing that. I mean, no pressure. You just, no pressure at all. You just got to take your time. And just lots of light, light layers. I'm not bearing down. Very, I'm just, I know I say that all the time, but it, I just can't. People that have done this have, you know, had not tried, you know, all the nice soft layers have told me, I don't know how many people, 
it really does matter, Dee Dee. You say it all the time. Light, light layers, light, light layers. And she and then you know, I have people say it really does matter. It really does. Don't bear down and try to get it all in one swoop. And I don't even hardly have any pigment really on here. You know, just a couple of, you know, light layers of purple. That's all I've got on here. Y'all think freckles? Do you want purple freckles? I've been seeing people say, yes, freckles, freckles. Yeah, overseas, I guess, you know, they probably are really talking about the hurricane. I think it's close to the Bahamas, last I heard. But I haven't watched, you know, I've been here streaming, so I haven't heard any updates. Freckles. Okay, Jody, we'll put freckles. And then I got to do the eyes and the stickles. I'm trying not to hurry the skin here because it really does take, you know, a soft touch and soft layers if you want it to blend out really nice. Can add a little something to her. Well, I'm going to add uh, stickles to her hair. Her hair is going to have stickles. Give me a minute, guys. Give me a minute. Okay. a little bit black right under here shadow under her some gray where's my gray or a hair here and then the black here behind her and again everything that's silver is going to have stickles on it. oh let me go over this little on that orange button. All right, let's see what we can do with these eyes. Okay, because I want them to have like glow coming out of them. So what we start with is white paint, then we can put the light on top of it. But it's got to have the white to pop, to show up. So let me get out a little bit of white paint here. I think I'll, I might start with my uh, Posca pen just so I can get some lines going and then glow it out, because I'm going to want his eyes to have like so that's where it's going to be it's going to be bigger, but I just kind of want to find my way right? kind of find my way and then I'm going to do a white paint, and then I'll dry it, and then put some yellow on top, you know, yellow to brighten it up. So, but the white, yellow so translucent, it won't cover the orange. So, let's get a brush here. Let's see. Yeah. Alrighty. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay. And then we'll do a couple shades. I don't want to go over my bats. All right, so let's see here. Let's 
then I think I'll do a couple small lights coming out with the Posca pen. All right, let me dry this, guys. All right, now I'm going to take my yellow paint. I think I got a little bit left over here. No, not much. Let me get some yellow out. It's dried up. Okay, now I'm going to take some yellow paint and go over the top of the white. Okay, now let me dry that. Got to do this in some stages. Now I'm going to get in here with the pencil and just do a little bit of streak in here. Get in there with some white pencil as well. Alright, sharpen. I want to kind of glow. Now the Posca. So then, now I've got to dry this, and then I'll add like almost like a mist. You'll see how it makes it look like a, a more of a glow than just, um, hang on. Okay, let's get back in the pupil real quick, though. Make those nice and bright. All right, now I'm going to take um, just a baby wipe. Smallest amount of paint. Let me just get see if I can pull this off now. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is a tricky part. All right. Needs a little bit of yellow in there, I think. Let's do yellow. All right. <laughs> Stay clear of the laser eyes. <laughs> now let me dry this. I'm gonna put a little touch of orange on there. <laughs> Now, uh, just a little bit of black. Mm -hmm. I'm making them look creepy. I wanted them to be creepy. What do y'all think? Is he creepy enough? <laughs>
right, let's go ahead and stop on this and let's go ahead and put in uh let's go ahead and put in uh the stickles. Even have the beams coming over into our hair. All right, wait, let me make sure I got the I don't want to lose too much of the background here of his cut out bit. It almost needs just the slightest touch. Just shh, 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 shh. just the slightest little touch. Oops. Got water in my brush there. Oop, too much paint. think did we make it work <laughs> did we make it work I don't know okay now I'm gonna back out a little bit so we can see how you're we're gonna do the stickles all right let's refocus guys hang on all right let me get out some stickles now I had my stickles over there, my diamond. What am I do with it? I had it out. Here's some orange. I think there's some orange in there. Don't know if I need black. Maybe some black. And then, yeah, the diamond. But I think these are all, I'm almost out of diamond. I might just go with the silver. Silver and diamond. We'll see what I can, what we've got left in these bottles. I don't know if I have any purple. I do got a little bit of purple. Hang on, let's see, maybe some purple. Okay, in her wings. All right, let's start with her wings. Okay, so let's see if I can get this going. All right, so we're going to put, and you probably won't be able to see it, guys, till I hold it up. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few streaks of purple in her wings. And I don't want it on the velvet. Okay, see. All right, now I want the silver in her silver. Let's do silver first. Because I want the silver on the edges of her wings. And I'll hold it up here just in a minute. along the edge of her dress. The bottom of her dress here. His belt buckle. And some of his um, the satin part. I'm going to do the silver here. And then I'm going to do the clear in between. Okay, now I'm going to do his lapels and the edge of his cape. And then I'm not sure if that's going to be the, I'm going to go ahead and make it the edge of his cape right there, right along that edge. And then some, just a little bit of silver in her hair. The rest of her hair, I'm going to do the diamond clear. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the silver in her hair. Okay. Now I'm going to take the 
diamond and see if there's anything left in these. Oh, there seems to be a little bit. And I'm going to put the diamond on the white part of our hair. And I know you can't really see it well yet, guys. I'll hold it up here in just a minute. Okay. Part of her hair. And then on the black part of her shiny, the shiny part of her skirt. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah, and the shiny part of his silver here. Okay. I think I want a little bit of more shine right around his collar, like right around his neck. Like that. And then I'm also going to do some in his eyes. Just kind of twinkle out the eyes. Okay. I'll hold it up here in a minute. I think I'll put a little dot of twinkle in her eye too. But you know what? I think I'll do it with, well, I already did it with the white, the clear. Let's go. I think I want a dot of orange in her eye too. Okay, so let me get a little bit of the orange now. And I want just to get it going here first. I might have to, this one might be clogged up. I might need to get a needle, needle tool out. Hang on, let me poke this out. I haven't used this one in a long time. Let's see if I can get it going. There we go. Don't lose that needle. Okay, so I want a little bit of orange on either side. Can't be careful not to stick my hand in that. Either side of her pupil. And then the satin ribbon here. And the satin ribbon on his vest and his buttons and maybe just a little extra orange right in the center of his eyes. I think I'll also put just a little bit of orange on the moon. See, I'm just going to look at it sideways, see if I forgot anything. All right, let's hold it up here. Oop, got a little smear on her dress. All right, so here's what we got so far. Let's see if we can. <laughs> I need you guys. Okay, you convinced me at Halloween. I better stay home and hold the door closed. <laughs> I need her. <laughs> we'll see if you can see her eyes there. There we go. Oops, I smeared some on his jacket there. All right, let me fix that. Let's just go along that edge. All right, let's see if I need to. Let's go along this edge. Along this edge again. Okay. You know what? I actually want to, I think I want his little shine to go right around. That's kind of dull right along the best thing there. Okay, that looks better. I like that better. So again, oh wait, you know what? I didn't get down here in his pants. Let me get down here. He has his purple pants. You can see I missed kind of coloring that in. And then what I'm going to do is cut it out carefully. I should have done this before I did the stickles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. Oh, 
Oh, I need to put a little sparkle on her little her little uh, horn thing there on her. I'm trying to not touch the stickles anywhere. And what we're going to do is put it on a piece of black cardstock. I'm going to put it on a piece of black cardstock. All right, let's back it up. Beep, 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 beep. Focus. And there we go. Let's move all this out of the way. All these stickles out of the way. Oh, there's some more. I have them in these little cases. They're like old vacuum cleaner filter cases. They're perfect for stickles. Half of these are almost gone. I used to use stickles a lot, but don't use them that much anymore. Okay, so there we go, guys. There's our Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween pumpkin. Yeah. You love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go. I'll take a picture of it in just a second, and I'll post it on Twitter. And uh, I'll try to, like, do both of them here or something. Or, well, I'll do two pictures so you can see the book and the, and the finished one. And then uh, don't forget Janet's streams in about 30 minutes. So, yeah, we went a little long on this. It, did, it took us about two hours, and that's kind of hurrying. So it took us about two hours to finish this. And um, so, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Do you find a missing pack? No, Cora, it's around here somewhere. Cora asked me if I found my missing pack of 12 by 12 cards. It's here somewhere. Yeah. So, gorgeous. Thanks, Muse. All right, guys. We'll see you over at Janet's. I got to grab something to eat. I might be a little late, but I'm going to get over there, Janet. I, I bookmarked you, girl. All right, guys. See y'all in about 30 minutes. Bye.